Welcome back, I'm Dr. Roger and this is SAT Math. Today we're looking at exponent rules. This is non-calculator test one, question 14, so it's one of the hardest multiple choice questions. If 3x minus y equals 12, what is the value of 8 to the x over 2 to the y? As I often do, I'm going to choose a value. I'm going to choose y equals 0 because anything to the 0 is 1, so my denominator will be 1. If y is 1, then 3x minus y, which is 12, is 3x minus 0 equals 12, or x equals 4. So 8 to the x over 2 to the y is 8 to the 4 over 2 to the 0, which is 8 to the 4 over 1, which is just 8 to the 4th power. Well, 8 to the 4th power is not 8 squared, and it's not 4 to the 4th because 8 to the 4 is more than 4 to the 4. It's not cannot be determined. That is almost always the wrong answer. College Board does not want you to get a question right because you did the math wrong and it didn't, didn't match anything. So none of the above or cannot be determined is very rarely correct. So I'm guessing it's 2 to the 12, and let's take a look at that. 2 to the 12 equals 8 to the 4. I'm going to put a question mark. My exponent rules, I know that 8, it, 8 is 2 cubed, so that's 2 cubed to the 4th, and power of power, you multiply exponents, that is 2 to the 3 times 4 is 2 to the 12. They do match, so this is the correct answer. Let's move on to the second question. This is SAT test two, non-calculator question seven. So as College Board considers this somewhat easier. If x to the a squared over x to the b squared equals x to the 16, and x is greater than one, and a plus b equals two, what's the value of a minus b? One of our exponent rules is, you know, fraction with powers of the same base, your exponent, you take the exponent in the numerator minus the exponent in the denominator. So x to the a squared over x to the b squared equals x to the a squared minus b squared. And that's equal to x to the 16. If two powers are of the same base are equal, their exponents are equal. So I have a squared minus b squared equals 16. Now they've given me a plus b and they're asking for a minus b. College Board likes this difference of two squares. We're going to factor a squared minus b squared. Typically, if you see an a plus b and an a minus b, that's what you'll be doing. So I have a plus b, a minus b equals 16. And they said up there that a plus b equals 2. So that's twice a minus b equals 16. Divide both sides by 2, and you get a minus b equals 8, which is choice 8. Let's continue on to the next problem from test 3. Rules, this is SAT test 3, non-calculator, question 3. Here they're asking about rational exponents. Which of the following is equal to a to the 2 thirds for all values of a? And I have square root a to the 1 third, square root a cubed, cube root a to the 1 half, cube root of a squared. So they're asking about how the numerator and the denominator work. a to the 2 thirds is a squared to the one-third, and a one-third exponent is a cube root. So that's cube root of a squared, which is our last choice. If you're trying to remember what rational exponents mean, remember that, for example, root a times root a is by definition a because a square root times itself is the number you're square rooting. But also, a to the one-half times a to the one-half if you have products of the same base, you add exponents. So this is a to the 1 half plus 1 half, which is a to the 1. So a to the 1 half and root a are the same. And that can help you to remember that a 1 third power is a cube root, which gave us answer d. Let's continue on to our final question from test 5. Continue on with exponent rules. Again, rational exponents. This is non-calculator test 5, question 12. So College Board consists considers this much harder than the one I just did. I have 9 to the 3 fourths and 9 to the 3 fourths. They want to know which of the following is equivalent. And we have a cube root of 9, 4 root of 9, square root of 3, and 3 root 3. That is 9 is 3 squared and to the 3 fourths power. 
Again, power of power, we multiply exponents. So that's 3 to the 2 times 3 fourths, which is 3 to the 3 halves. And that's definitely not cube root of 9. It's definitely not fourth root of 9. 3 to the 1 half is square root of 3. So it should be choice D, which is 3 to the 1 3 to the 1 half, power of power you add up exponents, that's 3 to the 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 to the 3 halves. So yes, D is the correct answer there. And that's all for exponent rules. Come back again for more SAT math.